Hi, Hotep. Peace. Namaste. How are you today? I hope everyone out there is okay. Um, I've got another book for you today. It's called Why Darkness Matters, The Power of Melanin in the Brain. Um, Dr. Uh, Richard D. Keane, um, Edward Bruce Bynum, and Ansi Moore, and T. Owens Moore. Ansi Brown, PhD. So that's the book. Okay. And um, I love this book. It's so brilliant. Um, I'm just going to take you straight to what stands out for me. And then I'm going to... It says, um, Melanin protects us against dangerous free radicals. Free radicals are highly reactive chemical species that have an odd number of electrons, hence one un unrepaired electron. Um, and let me just show you this. Um, in chapter 3, right, it says, All animals have an internal core of melanin in their brains. All humans possess this black internal brain evidence of the common black African origin. The all-black neuromelanin nerve tract of the brain is profound proof that the human race is a black race with many variations of black, from black black to white black. One of the crucial keys that distinguishes man from all other animals in this presence of intense blackness, neuromelanin pigmentation of the loci corylus, the black dot, and the uppermost center of pigmentation, the doorway that opens into all black holes of darkness, the neuromelanin, the amenta, the nerve tract, and that's by Richard D. King, MD, in African Origins of Biological Psychiatry. And then there's another quote here that I like, so I'm going to um, share it with you. And that is, um, brain melanin or neuromelanin increases the accent up the philogenic ladder reaching a peak of concentration in man moreover it is invariably found in a strategic highly functional loci of the brain neuromelanin with neurons and gilia is concentrated in strategic locations of the brain stem which together with the mono um, anion and dendrite extensions allows for the gating of all sensory and motor input and output as well as all emotional and motivational input and output and that's by fe bar md um, in melanin the organizing molecule and um well it's a must buy really this is a must have it's um, a brilliant book um it's really self-explanatory just goes into um, melanin and um, you know and and really it says um okay well from the first page it says uh, here all traces of psychological subjects including psychotherapy were were practiced in Africa by the Egyptians and long predated the Greek, the Roman, and the Hebrew tradition in which most modern Western psychology is rooted. Impotet is the first key figure of, the physician, of a physician to stand out clearly from the myths of an antiquity. And that's by A.K.T. Psychology in Africa. Okay, and I mean, it's you've got quotes from Dr. West, Wesley as well, and... Well, it's in a really nice read. Um, well, okay, here's another one. And it says, yeah, neuromelanin is an antioxidant that can prevent cellular damage and it can act as a semiconductor by increasing the speed of nerve impulses and it can function as an electrochemical um, transducer to transform physical stimuli into neural activity. So, I mean, it's uh, this is by T. Owens Moore, PhD. And here again, he says, according to Clark et al., the original race was African, and the people of African descent exhibit um, the largest quantity of melanin. So it's it's a good book to um get your heads into and have a look um and keep as a study guide. 
um, talks about the mel melanocytes and oh, it's a brilliant book. So I'm just gonna show you one picture. The melanin in the brain. Of it. Okay, there. Okay, so um, that's it really, folks. Um, the, uh, why darkness matters? It matters, and it's the, the, the power of melanin in the brain. Um, if you haven't got a copy, get yourself a copy. So, thank you. I'll take the master, universal love, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Same place. Thank you. Namaste. Peace.